I can't be the only one that has parents sometimes that just really piss them off. We all go through those times when we have things our parents ask us to do that we just really don't want to, but we have to because, you know, they're our parents. And I still live at home with my parents, and I still have to do everything they ask me to do because, you know, if I don't, I'm going to get any shit and they'll fucking, I don't know, yell at me. And no one likes being yelled at by their parents, especially not their mum. And you can all act like the biggest tough guy, fucking big tough guy in the world, but... Your mum's the one person you don't want to disappoint. But she is your mum, and I bet you she asks you to do shit all the time you just don't want to do. Like, my mum always asks me to clean my damn room when it's clean. She does the whole, Oh, Ashley, go clean your room now. It's absolutely filthy. And I swear to God, I'm always like, Mum, I cleaned my damn room yesterday. And I swear the response is always exactly the same when I say that. It's, well, why is there clothes on the floor, young man? Parents always think that because there's one pair of underwear on the floor, that your room's an absolute pigsty. Mum will be like, go clean your room, and I'll come back, and I'll be like, okay, Mum, my, my room's clean now. She'll be like, no, it's not. You were in there for five minutes. And I'm all like, yeah, Mum, because it wasn't dirty in the first place. I shit you not, this happens at least once a week. Surely I'm not the only one that has trouble convincing his parents that his room's clean. It's like a mum's brain is just designed to see mess when there isn't any. Like right before you're about to have like this big event at your house, like when you've got like family and friends and shit coming over and your mum's like frantically cleaning the house all afternoon and you're like, mum, the house has been spotless for the last three months. It's like your parents are always trying to impress everyone else and make themselves seem better than the other people. Like, oh my god, we only have a quarter of a bottle left of that squat, like, hand soap in the bathroom, so we better go get a new tub, otherwise they might think we're poor. How did my team lose by 30 kills when I went 42 and 37? Like, when you're a kid and you want to, you want to be better than your friends at Call of Duty, I'm pretty sure when you're an adult, you want to be better than your friends at life. So the reason that your parents make you clean your room if there is one thing on the floor, like one pair of underwear on the floor, it's because if one of their friends like comes over really out of the blue, they will think that they're a failure at life just because their like their friend will see that your room has a pair of dirty underwear on the floor, which makes you a really bad mum because it means you just don't have your kids under control. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what's going through parents' minds 100% of the time. But I feel as though you can also use this as an advantage at some point. Like, if you fucking hate cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the bathroom is just not your thing, you just don't like doing it, you hate all the toothpaste that's all stuck around the sink, you're sick of your sister's hair that just gets left around the bathtub and all the sink everywhere, her hair just gets caught on everything when you're trying to clean it, then I guarantee you, if your mum asks you to clean the bathroom once, one time, and her, parent, her friends are coming over and you do a bad job of cleaning that bathroom, then you will never get asked to clean that bathroom again. But I shit you not, if your mum's one of those mums that just hates clutter everywhere, then do not start a YouTube channel because I shit you not, the setups just put clutter everywhere. Because it is pretty much impossible to keep your cords in a neat and orderly fashion. Where the fuck would my team be without me right now? Seriously. Look at me just rape them on that final kill, bend them over, put one in them, and go a total of 39 and 19. Fuck, my team's bad. Like, really bad. I shit you not, trying to keep the cords in your room actually neat and orderly when you have a, like, massive computer setup is harder than trying not to watch porn when you're 14 years old and your mum's not home. Like, I'm telling you, it is almost impossible. You like you cannot physically do it. I think it's hilarious. I still remember when my first when my mum first started letting me stay at home alone when she wasn't out. The sort of things that you think you want to get up to when you're home alone is ridiculous. I shit you not, when you were my age, when you were like when I was like 14 years old, the only thing you needed to know how to do when your mum was out was clear the internet history. Like if you're 14 years old and you know how to clear the internet history, then you are gonna be in for some fun, long days while your parents aren't home. Your mum will come home and she'll be like, oh, how was your day, sweetie? What did you get up to? And you'll be like, oh, mum, I just did homework all day, you know. I was a good boy, did all my studying and shit like that. When actually you didn't take your hand off your fucking dick. Look at that shit, I went 37 and 12. I still remember this one time my mum went out for the day and I shit you not, I, she was gone, she was gone for a long time and I accidentally forgot to clear the internet history before she got home. So you know, she gets home, goes on the computer to check her emails or whatever the hell adults do on the computer. She goes down there and all I hear when she goes down there is, Ashley, can you come here for a moment? And I was just like, oh, shit. And when I go down there, on the screen is a video of something that I didn't quite want my mother to see. So I think the lesson we all need to learn here is never forget to clear your history or just don't do it in the first place. But I know you're going to, so remember to clear your history. But I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button, smash the thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. I do post daily stories and COD videos and news updates on Black Ops 3 and all that sort of junk. But I hope you guys are all having a great day. As always, this was Dolph Riddle, and I'll see you guys in the next video.